Can you see me now? Sweet joker. Check. Middle of the night on the interstate. Double check. Started up. Connected. Alright, now we're connected. So, the thing is, this, all the tuning on my Joker, as, as you nerds know, has been handheld related. Lots of, lots of handheld action. What I am going to do, now look, closed loop, pulling some fuels out, sweet. What I'm going to do is uh, go see how much gas mileage I got out of the last... 93 miles and then adjust some stuff and see how much better I could make it so I'm going to just going to go with fuel correction type All right, let's see here AFR type simple All right and then go over here on this motor. Da, 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 da. Looking good. I'm also going to do another fun thing. Which is going to be... Oh, yeah. Well, it's, it's fine, actually. It's good. Fuel prompt percent. That's looking good. Injector rated pressure. That's a funny thing, because this thing's actually at 400. So that's cool. That'll save some. Let's see. We'll sit that little bit down. Super neat. And what else are we going to do here? Let's go look at our learn table. Got to scroll down to the bottom for the learn stuff. Look, see, that's, that's not too bad, but way up in here, it's putting a whole hog and bunch of, bunch of fuel in, and, and down here, it's pulling the fuel out so that's that's sufficiently cool so let's 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 go adjust the table and this thing is on a stock setting i believe so let me doubly check that somewhere in here i don't know god it's eight injectors that's eh, fine it's a five seven Oh, you can't, yeah, you can't check it in this one. That's a, that's a thing you gotta update a little bit. No worries, friends. So, we know that end table, this is, this is a stock thing. So, this whole table, oh yeah, I can see down here the top of the tables look like, but we're, we're 10% off. So, we're gonna go a negative 10. I think that's the percent button. Yep. Move the whole thing down, but in a tricky bit, I'm going to put 30% back in the top because this thing does have a little bit of lean bog when you really hog into it. And also, I'm going to interpolate them values vertically as well. And then what we're going to do is we're going to send this and it's going to run a little bit like crap for a second. But also we're going to empty out our learning table and let it relearn. Even better, right? So we can cruise over here and do a compensation and look. And you can see it's, uh, it's putting 5% back in it right here. Like very quickly. Our injection pulse width is looking pretty snazzy our air fuel yeah see we're looking we're looking good so it's actually getting to its target that's really nice so we're looking good there actually it's the smoothest it's ran so far just doing those very basic minor adjustments as it goes
I'm only running on 102 sensor because I have an exhaust leak on the passenger side. Not a massive deal. I should probably screen record this, but I gotta be honest, it's a great big pain in the butt to screen record it and then put the video together and this, that, and the other. But I'm not lazy, I just don't wanna do it because it's a lot of extra work. And if I made all the content, I would procrastinate putting it all together and you guys would never get to see it. So we're gonna look, we got a positive value of 30, which is like, let me think, it's like an 8% ish like roughly a percent where it's up here idling and this thing makes hella good vacuum i'm at 30 kpa idling around whatever 700 or 800 or what have you not there thereabouts actually i think i got an idling at 700 but this thing is by far the smoothest it's ever been so we're going to mess with this table and really get it dialed in and then we're going to see what our new fuel economy is so while it's doing this, it gives me a chance to drive to another gas station and top it up and see. So we'll check in there. Well, I think I'm actually going to mess with the timing table a little bit too because I can get some more timing cruising. But if you do it the simple one, it's not really going to respond well on a load. So when you go to load it up, it's going to ping like crazy unless you use a 2D table, blah, 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 blah stuff. So no worries there. We'll, uh, let me get to the other gas station. We'll see what kind of fuel economy I got. Just on a handheld tune. No other parameters put in. Just nailed it. Sent it. Been driving it a bunch. It's been getting pretty good fuel economy. But, you know, I want to see what else I can do with it. So, Alright, back at the gas station. 13.9 <clears throat> at the speed. And all the hills have been pulling and all that jazz. You know, that's... That's looking pretty snazzy. Is that, is that greasy? Oh yeah, yeah, that's a change of hand. Such an idiot. Oh look, that's the same. Anywho, 13.98 miles to the gallon in this rig. I've seen 15.3 out of it before, which was really good, but you know, that was, uh, I'd reflashed it since then and this, that, and the other and hadn't really set up because the only thing I've done is, uh, look, look at it, 30, 14, 3, all the stuff. Yeah, 7 and some change for that. So, yeah, the only thing I'd done previous was a, a lot of, like, really good adjustments in the handheld. Right now, the fuel economy is suffering from that, but I know, but what am I doing here? I'm going to fuel, sorry. Driving it to roughly the mile down the road. Let's see if it learned anything. Just cruising down the road once. Uh, no. But where I cycled the key, you can see it averaged the whole table and, and bumped in like a percent of fuels. So it's actually, it's looking pretty good, me pulling that, just that 10% out of the whole table and adding 30% to the top. When I took off, I gotta tell you, she kinda, she kinda snatched me up a little bit and really started the boogie. So I gotta like readjust my foot at this point because I've made some timing adjustments. I mean, some fuel adjustments. Now I'm gonna do some timing adjustments here. And we're just gonna see, let's see, ignition base time. And we're gonna go over to the 2D table on this because I wanna set up a bit of a table. And this, I don't really know where this engine likes the timing at, like, you know, we got the main base table, which is all your base stuff, like where you're normally cruising at down the road doing a good job. We got the startup, which is exactly what it sounds like. The startup, we got the idle base table, which is what it does at idle, the, you know, given RPM, this, that, and the other. Then we got the follow. That's like the mystery, which is not the mystery. It's coming out of RPMs, throttle closed, and this is the timing profile. So if you got a thing where you're coming out of cruising, throttle plate closed and it's popping and banging you can just highlight the area where it's really affected throw a little old timing in there five ten degrees or whatnot you're not going to hurt a lot on d-cell and uh that'll help advance the timing on that d-cell a bit and uh get rid of some of them pops and bangs if you like them then lower the timing and get more pops and bangs but i'm too cheap to buy exhaust because it will blow a muffler apart in case you don't know anyways main base table I'm looking at cruising at about 44 um, that actually probably ain't the worst thing in the world but you know when I'm 
rolling down the road, it's, you know, 60, 70, stuff like that. Not a big deal. I do know that 37 is way too much for this motor. It loses its mind when you're when you're really punching into the old throttle pedal and it's uh you know 30 something degrees. So I'll make it 28 or yeah, 28 wide open throttle and I'll just check it out later when I really go to tip into it. And what I'll do is I'll grab this and I'll interpolate down. And this will take a little bit of messing with to figure out what the engine likes and what it's not doing. There's a whole lot of better ways of doing this, but you know, it's just me being me. And what I like to do on this is, because uh, that's, you know, I cruise down the road at between 1500 and 2500 RPM on the interstate. So all this junk over here is not going to do a lot just cruising down the road. So that, and that's fine. That's really fine. But I do know that I need to take a little timing out of this. I'm just going to fill the same values. So this is 500 to 1,000. I'm going to make it 20 instead of 34. I'm going to take this 20 over to 42. Yeah. And I'm going to do row value. And then this business down here... I'm going to take it and I am going to do column value and just kind of smooth out these these locations a smidge. Now I'm going to send that and let's go back over here to our information. Oh, like a strip chart. Big fan of that stuff. And let's just let's just do one up. Let's take this uh, manifold this manifold temperature one that nobody's really using. You go in here, MAT, double click on the value, and I'm going to be looking at a, for ignition advance. So, uh, main base table, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, save it. Bip, there it is. In the main base table, it says 20 degrees. So, whenever I tip into the throttle, you see, I made a nice little smooth curve, so as I tip into it, it does a nice thing. You see the map. Don't you just love a good strip chart? I love this stuff. I want to see more data. I want to see all the data. Look at it. just growing. Ain't that dope? And people say these things don't data log worth of crap. What are you talking about? Look at it. See, there's your, there's your line graph. And you can pick all kinds of crazy parameters you want to see. So, neat, right? Any hoozles. Look over here to the gauge boy. That's looking just, just fantastic. And we'll leave it alone. So we're going to hit the road. And uh, I'll, I'll kind of try to film some of that whenever I'm not sitting across the parking lot from the police. So, stand by. Alright, so... We finally got cruising, we messed with the timing and we tweaked on the fuel a little bit and all that jazz. Coming up to a dead stop for unnecessary reasons. And I'm just going to go into it. Let's see if it's like wanting to learn. It took off pretty smooth right there, so nothing crazy. Kind of, let's get into it and see if she pings.
so we made it to the Bucky's and I got some fudge. I mean, y'all, I'm kind of fat. I mean, y'all see my videos. Anywho, so let's get the old mathematicians out here. We did 111.2 miles and 7.019 divided by. So, I mess with the I mess with the fuels a bit. It's running fantastic. I mess with the timing a bit, and I gotta admit, I've kept it between seventy and eighty on average. Going over Jellico, doing the whole gig. You know, if you know, you know. In the area, that's that's a whole lot of uphill. So, and this this is not even with the torque converter locked up. This is just running fourth gear, 2,000 RPMs instead of 1,800 RPMs. I'm doing 15.84 miles to the gallon on a 97 Tahoe, running the Joker system, multi-port, Hall Effect distributor, the whole gig, and some very lightweight tuning on the old computer here. So, let's go ahead and connect up, and hey, it succeeded. Hurrah. Let's look at what we got. It's all looking great. Anywho, let's see what our learn table looked like. Now, I did stop and have a pee earlier, and I did about 30 miles into it. Um, you know, after after my last, last uh, interaction with the old local county mounties. I'm such an idiot. Anywho, let's, let's see what we got here. Okay, so we see that the entire table has moved up about I want to say 15% across the board which is cool because if you look at the rest of the values that's populated here I mean there's a couple high numbers but if I take this whole table the whole fuel table and I add about 15% to it on average then it's going to help this out but this is this is fine I mean, there's some good single digits in here that's it's looking pretty good. Not a lot of negative numbers. So, with that data right there, I could, I could with confidence throw some money at it. But the cool thing is the learning table's done its job. It's populated great data cruising down the road. I'm probably going to leave it all alone. I'm, you know, I'm going to cruise over here. I'll, I'll disable loop and learn over here and send it so no matter if my o2 sensor ever goes bad or not it's fine it's it's got decent tune it'll take throttle it shifts gears it does its job it feels great so yeah i mean i mean hell what is that two and some change miles per gallon airabouts just on you know the spider injection was getting like 11, I think, or some garbage. And then I did the kill shot, and it was doing pretty good, pretty comparable. I put the Joker on and just did basic, not even correct, but basic handheld tuning. And now I did a bit of very lightweight laptop stuff here. Nothing crazy. Added some to the top, did a few things, messed with some fuel values here and there. I could probably go back in here and smooth it out even further and get to that magic 16 number and then wire my torque converter the rest of the way and actually make it function correctly i uh had some stuff disconnected i got lazy didn't put it back together but you know whatever i'm losing like 30 percent efficiency on the torque converter so if i was actually running on the the lockup i mean i'd say i'd be pretty dang close to 17 miles to the gallon by the time if i messed this table up a little bit more tweaked on a few timing values did the torque converter lock up appropriately like i get pretty close to 17 airabouts and that's not bad for this tahoe because these things got trash fuel mileage so the only time they got good fuel mileage is on the truck on the way to the dealership back in 1996 uh, so or seven yeah 97 
not technically 96. That's where we're at with it. I mean, that's that's awesome. So, I hope y'all enjoy my very boring video of dabbling with this crap on this truck on my fudge run back to the homestead in central Kentucky where I gotta go do work because I worked all week and now I gotta work some more and then when I get done with this work and I gotta go back to work and work some thank god I work next weekend too otherwise I don't know what I'd do well I hope that helps toodles